Hey, it's Tim here. Let's take a look at the LEGO Education Spike Prime hardware. This belongs to the Inventor Robotics Kit, which is available through the stem.t4l page. Before the kit is used, it is a great idea to charge the Spike Prime hub. The hubs come with a micro USB cable. Only the supplied cables should be used when charging the hub to ensure the device is not harmed. You'll find the micro USB port on the front face of the hub on the opposite end to the center button. You can easily charge many of the smart hubs together using this charging dock. The hubs will take approximately three hours to fully charge from empty to full. Leaving them powered on will drain the battery, but they are easily turned on and off. It is recommended they are charged before being stored if they are not going to be used for a longer period of time. Allowing the battery to fully drain is harmful to the lifespan of the battery. As the battery becomes low, the power button will start to flash orange. This means it is time to connect the micro USB cable and charge the hub. You may find the hub turning itself off after a few minutes being powered on. This is an indication the hub requires charging immediately. The hub has four buttons on it. A small connection button, which is used to enable Bluetooth connectivity. Two navigational arrows, which are useful for navigating between the various code scripts that have been saved to the hub. There is also a large button known as the center button, which has many uses, including powering on and restarting the device. A long press of the center button for three seconds will power up the device. At times, the power button may show varied colors. Flashing red, there is an error on your hub or with the program you are trying to run. It is easily solved by revising and fixing errors in your code script. In rare cases, you may have to restart the hub by turning it off and back on again. Solid blue light. The hub requires an update. Connect the hub to your PC device using the supplied micro USB cable and start an update using the LEGO Education Spike app. The connection button is flashing blue your hub is searching for a connection. The connection light is solid blue. Your hub is connected to a device via Bluetooth. The connection light is flashing violet, green or blue. Your hub has been updated and requires a restart. This can be done by turning it off and back on again. Along the side walls of the smart hub, you will notice three input and output ports on either side. These ports make it easy to connect any of the included sensors from the Spike Prime kit. The ports are each named using an alphabetic letter, which is useful when coding an instruction to a specific sensor or motor. To connect your hub to your device, you need to open the Spike LEGO Education app. This app can be used for both the Spike Prime LEGO kit or the younger years version, Spike Essentials. For today's task, select the Spike Prime tile upon the startup of the app. You can easily change between the two by clicking the LEGO kit name in the top right hand corner of the window. Once you have opened the Spike Prime function in the app, you will land on the home page. You can commence a new project or follow one of the many tutorials. To connect your hub within a project, click the connect hub icon towards the top ribbon of your window. You'll be directed to connect your hub. If your center button is green, your hub is up to date and can be connected via Bluetooth. Go ahead and press the connection button to enable Bluetooth. You will see your device appear in a column on the right hand side of the screen. Once the device is connected, you can reset the device, alter its name and check its software updates and battery life. You can also update the hub at this time. If your hub is connected to another device, it will need to be disconnected before it will allow connection to a new device. This ensures students do not accidentally connect to their peers' hubs and bump the original connectee off. At times, you may need to reset your smart hub. This can be done when the device is connected to the LEGO Education Spike Prime app. Clicking the connection symbol and selecting the three dot ellipsis for more controls, which will show a reset option. 
Resetting the device will remove all previously saved codes from the hub. It is a good idea to do this when your school is finished with the Spike Prime STEM T4L kit and ready to send it to the next school. Now that your hub is up to date and successfully connected, you can begin downloading code scripts to your hub. The hub can store up to three projects at one time. There are lots more support resources in the stem.t4l library and on our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear how you and your students are using this kit. So join the conversation with other teachers like you in the Facebook group or on the Yammer community. Just search for stem.t4l. Have fun and get creating.